Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple things first. Um, I got the Lazy Susan resin. So it is all done. Love it. It's going to its new owner next week. And this is the matching coaster set. Got those resined also. I use the Stone Cope countertop resin. And uh, this, there is a difference, which I didn't know to begin with. Um, this is much harder and it's the epoxy, not the art coat. So if you're gonna do anything where it's gonna, you're gonna have heat on it, like a trivet or Lazy Susan or coasters, you wanna use the epoxy one, not the art resin. So just a little bit of information there for you. All right. And those are, they are much, it is much harder. I can already tell. And it's only been, I think it's only been drying for a few days. So here is last week's. Um, I don't know if I can get the whole thing in here because I've got my camera kind of close today, but this was last week's hydrangea. And this is how, let me turn it around. How it finished and I don't know if you can see if I can get the color oh there it is that color shift in there see it yeah very cool it's and then the peridot is uh, is a metallic also so it gets a little bit of bling in there too so now all I have to do is put the leaves on it and uh, varnish it and that one will be ready to go to somebody's home if they want it. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimenting. Um, I've done puddle pours before, so this is going to be a messed up puddle pour. I just want to make sure I got you in there. It looks a little crooked on my end, but it looks fine for you. All right, um, so I'm going to do a uh, wrecked puddle pour, basically. But I'm going to do a little bit of uh, playing with some different, um, my push pins. I got these big push pins finally. I found them on Amazon. And they're, I don't know if I can get a side view. Yeah, they're really big. But they're kind of hard to get in. Um, I hammered them in, but this one still doesn't want to go all the way in. All right, anyhow. Um, I found those on Amazon. I got 12 of them. I think they were about $10 for 12 of them. This is what they look like. And they just say giant, giant push pins. So really cool. They, they lift your canvas up further off the table than the smaller ones. So it just gives you a little bit more working room underneath your canvas. All right, so my colors today, I've added some primary elements to my paint just because I want to give it a little bit more bling. Um, I have my own turquoise that I mixed up, which is just some phthalo blue and I think phthalo green mixed up together. And then I put some of the um, teal zircon in it, which is the primary elements. I put a little scoop of that in there. And this is my only color I put silicone in. I'm going to try and experiment a little bit with only one color having silicone and, and direct, uh, what would you call that? Um, oh, I can't think today. I'm only going to torch in those areas where the silicone will be just because I only want, I only want to get cells where I want them. So I'm going to try that today and see how that works. I saw somebody else do and it was beautiful. I love the mixture between having cells and not having cells. So that was my first color. Uh, I'm also using the Pearl. Uh, I got this finally, Deco Art Pearl Metallic. It's a white pearl. And I have added some uh, iridescent, or interference violet, yeah. Interference violet in there. I just wanted a little touch of purple in it when it dries. And then I have uh, the PBO Green Blue with some and it, it's green blue iridescent and then it I also added some of the um, mermaid scale by and this is a bling it color color art so 
have that in there for some sparkle. And I'll show you this next week when it's dry. And then I also have my Prussian blue with iridescent medium. Everything's gonna have sparkle today. I'm, I'm really in a blingy mood these days. I have my 24 karat uh, deco art, 24 karat gold. And I have some aqua flash, which is um, folk art, I believe. Folk art aqua flash. It's a color shift paint. And I have some black, just basic black. I'm not going to use a whole lot of the black, but I want a little bit of it in there. All right, so let's start making our puddles. I'm not going to put a base coat down because I'm going to get enough puddle action going on to cover the whole canvas. So I'm just going to start putting some puddles down. This is my iridescent. Oops, oh, we've got a clog. I need to start cleaning out bottles because I ah, can't get it open. I've had these bottles for a while filled with paint, so it's getting to be time to clean them out. Oh, I didn't grab my channel locks. I grabbed my players and they're harder to use. All right, so let's get this. Just use my skewer. Whew, that was lucky. Push it out. Grab it. It's just some gunk that got in the bottom. Or that got in the lid, I should say, not in the bottom. All right, clean that out. I guess I should make sure all of these work before I start my video. But what fun would that be? <laughs> All right. This uh, Prussian blue is probably my most favorite color. Whatever you put it in, whatever you know, pour you do with it, because I put that iridescent in there it, and it's dark, it just shows up. And you get that little bit of sparkle, even if you don't have a lot of it in there. You just get that really cool little sparkle. That's a beautiful color. Okay, and that was my, the, that was the PBL. No, that was the Aqua Flash. Aqua Flash, let's see, I'm gonna go with my turquoise mix. If you don't have a color, just try mixing it up on your own. Now use your color wheel and uh, not too hard to figure it out. You know, turquoise is a green blue, so if you want it more blue, mine's more blue. So just add more blue. If you want it more green, add more green. Pretty easy. This is my 24 karat gold. Again, one of my very favorites. I think it's funny that gold is back in again. It was a big, everything was gold in the eighties. All my jewelry was gold. I didn't go to silver and white gold until uh, the nineties. But everything's going back to gold now. All right, let's get some of this pearl in here. Oh my gosh, I went to order, um, ugh, this, that's why I like this in bottles. When the cup is full, it's so hard to pour it. Um, I went to order some high gloss varnish Liquitex and it is out everywhere. I don't know what is going on. Whether they had to close their factories during the pandemic, you know, they're shut down their production, but Everything just seems like is out of stock everywhere. I don't like it. All right, these puddles are gonna be messy because this white is just messy. I shouldn't have filled the cup so full, I guess. 
That's all right. It's all going to get messed up anyway. Um, let's get some over here. Mm, I don't want to get gray, so I don't want to add the black yet. Let's go back in with some... Oh, I don't think I've put any of this in yet. This is the PBO. Let's do some of that. See how much nicer it pours when your cup isn't full. <laughs> Lesson learned. There's always lessons to be learned. You are never too old to learn something. That's for sure. Life has definitely taught me that. All right. Okay, and remembering that the turquoise is the one that has the silicone. I want to get some more of the dark blue in there. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear my husband back there. I had to go tell him he had to be quiet. He's out there <laughs> yakking away. I'm filming this on Sunday because I'm going to be babysitting my granddaughter. I'm going to add a little bit of black. Um, babysitting tomorrow. So, and then Tuesday I have to work. So, I'm uh, filming on a Sunday. It still won't get posted till Tuesday, but I'm just putting the black in some of the blank spaces where there's still blank canvas. All right, looks pretty cool. Now we're gonna mess it up. Um, gotta decide what I wanna do with this design. I think I want to do some swirly swirls, spiral swirls. I'm just using the end, the fat end of my skewer. Oh yeah, that's going to be really cool. All right, let's take that black line up here. Add a little bit of something there because it didn't get I want to swirl there um, let me see if I can get a little bit of this white in there there we go all right let's swirl that again there we go much better Here. I wanted to mess that up a little bit more. There we go. All right. And I forgot to put gloves on. So let me, before I tilt this, let me get some gloves on. Sorry, guys.
I love the colors in this one. So pretty. I might even do a big one with these colors. Hmm. I'm looking at this blob right here. It's uh, not got any lines in it. And because that is the dark turquoise that has the um, has the silicone in it, I think I want to run a line through there. I don't want to do a swirl. I think I'm just going to incorporate it up into that line. Okay. Just break it up a little bit. Try to follow your lines that are already there if you're going to do that with the skewer. All right. I have a ton of bubbles, but I'm not going to pop them because I want to do um, specific torching in specific areas. So I'm just going to tilt down. Let that run off. Bring it back. Let's go to the corners. some of this paint off of here. There's a lot of paint on here. All right. I'm going to get some of these swirls back into pretty swirls instead of stretched out swirls. I might run a balloon through some of this too. We'll see. Let me see. I want to get that out of there. I don't like that. All right, let's do some deliberate torching. That's what it's called, deliberate torching in certain areas. So remembering that this is where I have the silicone is where the darker turquoise is. So let's just hit that in those areas. Let those develop. They're going to start coming up here. Um, I'm going to get my balloon because I think I want to do a couple balloon rolls in there. Or balloon kisses maybe. Let's see. I'm not crazy about this middle part. So 
let's just give it some rolls here. Yeah, I definitely like the um, the silicone only in a few places. I've got a pretty flower going on here in the center. Let me give that center a little bit more of a twirl in there. Just tip it a little bit. looking pretty cool. Add, I want to add some more of this pearl just in here. The torch was in the way. Just love the movement that the balloon gives. And you can pick up paint with it, which is cool. Get some of that extra paint off of there. I'll put a little bit on my balloon. Give it one more pull. There we go. I got um, down to canvas there, but it usually fills back in. So sometimes, um, you know, you definitely can go back in and use other tools that you have at your disposal to make it more interesting. If you're not completely loving the composition, you just have to keep playing with it and noodling with it, as Kathleen Osmore says. Noodle it to death. Not to death. <laughs> noodle it a little bit. I'll get rid of that balloon for now. So just play with stuff. Play, play, play. That gold is going to be awesome when it dries. Hmm. Put some more on my balloon of the white. I'm just going to run it there. Oh, I didn't use it all. <laughs> it's still there. It didn't show up. 
I'm going to put it actually on the canvas. There we go. When you're doing those balloon rolls, you're just uh, using your your wrist. You're just putting the balloon down and then just twirling that way on the canvas. And it gives you that feathered look there. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. If I want to do any more. I've got some more cells showing up, which is probably the... It's either the iridescence doing that or it's the... Uh, Silicone that I put in the turquoise is underneath there. So just keep playing with it until you're happy with the results. Um, you can add paint in in places like I did with the white. You can add dots of color in. I'm thinking I might, um, I mean, I just like to see what different things I can do. Oh, I hate to mess that up, but I feel like it needs one more. There we go. Um, you know, use all your tools in your arsenal. I like to mix it up. Use mixed uh, mixed te techniques. That's my most favorite thing to do. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in the center there. So I just dipped my finger in the pearl white. I have a bandit hair on my finger. Bandit is my huge shepherd lab dog. He's 140 pounds. He's just really big. Big lover, though. All right. I'm liking that. It's looking pretty dramatic. This flower in the center here keeps going back in on itself, so I'm going to have to keep playing with it. And I'm, I'm really not crazy about these here, so I need to do something with those, those two black dots there. Mm. Let's see if I can pull them out. Make them like a leaf shape. Do you know? Do you notice how everything ends up going back to flowers for me? So yeah, just keep playing with it till you're happy with the composition. Um, so much you can do with your tools. I'm really thinking I would like to drop some silicone in there. Um, I might do that. See what we get. So I'm just going to put a little bit of silicone in, in a cup. And I was just making sure we're still filming. I don't know why I felt like we weren't filming. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to nobody. Um, so I'm putting a little bit in my cup here. And I'm just going to dip it. in certain places. Make sure you wipe it off after you do it. Um, let's go drop some dots in here.
see if those are going to do anything. I think they will eventually. We might have to hit them with a torch. I think those will open up as time goes on. starting to come open. This is another way you can add um, cells to your paintings. I think that's enough. I don't want to add too much. I'm just not happy with those center of those flowers. Everything is sinking. So again, just keep playing. Play till you're happy. A little bit of pearl, a little bit of aqua flash. Okay, smash. Run out of places to wipe my balloon off. There, got rid of those black lights I didn't like. All right. Sometimes with the balloon smash, um, you have to do it many times. It, uh, will go back in on itself, so um, sometimes it's better to wait some time um, to give it time to do its thing. Yep, I knew that was going to drip. Too much paint there. There we go. But if you just keep going at it, it will, uh, careful not to get down to canvas, um, you'll get what you want. You'll get the look you're looking for. I'm going to put that right back in there. Wow, we, we cut a lot in that. All right. I'm, I'm probably going to keep messing with this a little bit after I turn the camera off, but I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Um, I wished I had gotten a little bit more cell action, so maybe next time I would do two in there. And uh, But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's really cool. Let me bring you down so you can see a little bit of close-up. Oh my gosh, I should not have filmed on a Sunday with my husband home. He does not know how to be quiet. Sorry about that. All right. I think my favorite part is those balloon rolls over here in the corner. Those came out really pretty. Really nice. I think it'll be awesome when it dries. We always say that, but that's just because of all the metallics and the color shift and everything that's going on. 
All right, guys, um, that's our video for this week, and I will see you next week. Please like, share, and subscribe. My links are uh, at the bottom in the description. If you just push there, you can contact me or you can check out my Etsy page. I'm getting more and more stuff loaded in there all the time. So uh, feel free to.